I'm struck by how often our disagreements are made worse because we get stuck on positions and we don't understand the interests that the other party has that underlie the position. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. I was working with a team of senior executives who had responsibility for creating the strategic plan for their organization. And they historically had done it just the, the group of them together. And the previous year they tried something different. They'd asked employees to provide input into the plan. And now it was time to write this year's strategic plan. And they had a real difference of opinion about how they were going to go about writing the plan this year. Were they going to do the old way, the bottoms up way, or the new way, the top-down way. And there was a, a lot of dissension on the team about how this was going to work. So they'd asked me to come in and, and help them work on this. And what I asked to do first was just to watch them have a conversation about it. And it was a very interesting conversation because everybody was talking at the same time. Nobody was listening to one another. And they just kept repeating their positions over and over. We should do it top down. We should do it bottom up over and over. And they even started to get personal and attack one another. Uh, the, the top downers called the bottom uppers um, irresponsible people who wanted to abdicate their responsibility for uh, making the tough decisions that face the fern. The bottom uppers uh, called the top downers hierarchical and old fashioned dinosaurs. So it, they really were not making very much progress. So I asked them to halt that part of the conversation and instead of advocating their points of view just to inquire of one another to try to understand why they felt so strongly about their points of view what were the interests underlying their positions and it turned out that their interests were not that far apart um, the group that wanted to stick with the top-down approach, their key interest was they wanted to avoid disappointing the employees again because the previous year when the employees had had input into the plan, a lot of employees thought that input meant that everything they suggested would be done and it wasn't and they were disappointed. So the top-downers wanted to avoid that. The bottom-uppers wanted to um, still capture the good ideas that they had gotten from employees the year before. And they were actually they understood the, the, the concerns that the top downers had. So in the end what they ended up doing uh, was they ended up having the employees provide input but this time they were very clear that the team itself would be designing the plan and not every employee's suggestion would get done. It was striking to me and I think this is the lesson that I took away from this how just understanding the positions that un the excuse me the interests that underlie the position that your opponent has if you take the time to do that it creates a whole new space for you to actually have a conversation about what the solution should be.